Hello, my name is Marilena Petridou. I am a Feldenkrais practitioner based in Athens, Greece. This is a series of recordings under the general title Crawling into Walking. It's part of Move Better, Feel Better Feldenkrais Awareness Summit. This series of movement explorations are based on some developmental movements and stages of crawling, gradually going into standing and walking. Enjoy these mini lessons and be sure to follow in your own pace. Feel free to pause or stop the recording and rest at any time. You might feel you need a longer break and if needed take more frequent breaks between movements. Take care of yourself listening to your senses and somatic experiences without strain, pushing yourself or trying too hard towards achievement. The aim of the method is to give you a chance to investigate, to play, to create a learning mode by doing as little as possible, listening to the way you move and being able to feel and sense the most out of yourself. You will need to arrange a free space in your home or working place where you can lie on the floor with some room around you on a soft, non-sticky surface. You may arrange a yoga mat optionally covered with a soft blanket or big towel. Lesson 1. Rolling Spine For this lesson you might need to have some flat padding available as you are going to lie on your side, so have that somewhere near you. Please lie on the floor, on your back, and have your legs and arms long. If this is not easy for your back, then you can keep your knees bent, with your feet standing. Observe how you make contact with the floor, how your weight is distributed, how your feet, knees, pelvis and ribs are related. How the head relates to the chest. Imagine a middle line that runs across you from the crown of the head all the way down to your pubic bone and continues between your legs. Sense how this line divides you in two halves. Does it feel straight or not? Notice where and how this line's shape travels and changes as you follow it. See where you can sense curves or angles. Now think of yourself folding around this middle line to one side until you come to lie on your side. Don't do the movement yet, but only imagine it in your mind creating an accurate description as much as possible. Think and sense the exact route that you would follow if you were about to do it. What would you use to change from lying on your back to side lying? What would move first, second and so on? In what sequence and how would parts coordinate with one another? Observe your pace, how long this would take you. Then actively start to do the movement and see how much of what you imagined is happening, how close the real movement is to what you imagined. Slowly roll to your back again and observe how you return and then continue on to the other side. How is it to roll to the other side? What is different? Go once more into the soft roll and observe your spine during the movement. How is the spine involved? When does it twist, turn or bend to allow you to move. What is easy for you? Now slowly roll to your most preferred side and stay there. Use the padding to support your head if needed. 
Keep your upper arm bent in front of you, somewhere on the floor, where it feels comfortable. Have your legs, knees and feet together, one on top of the other, knees bent at about 90 degrees. Begin to move the arm on the floor, sliding with the forearm a little bit away from your chest and come back. Do it again and notice how your shoulder follows, how the ribs roll a little forward and notice what the head is doing. Repeat a few times and sense your spine how the spine rolls in a way and twists to allow the arm and shoulder to move forward. Notice the coming back. Which movement do you prefer more? Rolling forward or coming back to lying on the side? Which is easier? Leave that and do the same with your leg and knee. Allow the thigh, the knee, lower leg and foot to slide to the front onto the other leg and come forward. Allow the pelvis to roll forward and then back. Go until you reach the floor or to wherever it is easy and then come back and stay within a range of comfort and lightness. Observe the movements of the spine. Try to feel which vertebrae move more when you do this and which ones less. Are there areas where you feel that the movement of some vertebrae is limited rather than spreading more evenly across the whole spine? Come to the neutral starting position. Begin to combine the two previous movements, sliding the arm and shoulder forward, allowing the ribs to roll and the head to follow, and at the same time, let the upper leg also slide forward, rolling with the pelvis reaching for the floor. So, go like that forward and return a few times rolling the whole upper side. Stop for a moment and start again, this time taking the arm forward away from the chest and at the same time roll the pelvis and slide the leg back to the opposite direction. Keep the upper parts of the body sliding in opposition from the lower parts. How is the spine moving and rolling now? What is your head doing? Leave that, roll onto your back and rest. Observe your two sides. How are they different from each other? What is your contact with the floor now? And where do you sense your middle line? Roll onto your second side and try the same idea. First, allow your arm and shoulder to move forward, sliding the forearm away from you into the floor and come back to the beginning. Leave it and try the movement of the leg sliding forward and back. Then start to combine the two movements. Go slowly back and forth with your whole side, allowing the whole upper side of your body to roll onto the other one, closer to and away from the floor. 
observe and enjoy your soft rolling action of one side rolling over the other one and notice the lower parts that touch the floor how they are changing and adjusting to this roll try now to alter the direction of the rolling of the upper and lower parts go with your arm shoulder and ribs opposite your pelvis and leg and notice how this side is different how much movement is happening on your upper and lower areas of the spine and all the joints involved where does the head move to does it follow your arm or the leg or is it doing something completely different do not change it or correct it just notice for yourself play now with changing the head direction and let it follow the direction of the pelvis and the leg together with the eyes while the arm and shoulder move opposite feel what this is offering what movement is created in the spine and where exactly do you feel a difference go back to the previous movement head eyes shoulder and arm going together forward when the pelvis and leg slide back and vice versa what is the quality of this movement now one last time try the first roll the whole upper side rolling over forward and then back and feel sense and observe how the spine rolls now what is different about the quality of the movement and the whole organization leave that and come to your back to rest allow yourself on your back and feel what has changed to the way you contact the floor the lightness or heaviness of one side over the other one the breathing the sensations that unfold can you track your middle line now where does it pass through how is the root different if so imagine again like in the beginning your roll to the side and back and map all the route for yourself in your thought slowly start to actively do what you imagined and feel and sense how close you are now to the imagined movement did you in a way organize it better without effort with effectiveness ease and flow try the other side as well notice what side you chose first now maybe it is the same as in the beginning maybe different what is the image and sensation of your spine as it moves rolls twists shortens and elongates according to your travel roll one last time from your preferred side and slowly come up to standing
find your balance on your feet and sense yourself in standing. How is the weight pouring down between your feet? How do your two sides relate or differ? Where does the head stand? Where is the horizon for your eyes? Slowly walk around and enjoy the sensation. Thank you for playing along. This is Marilena Petridou. You can find more about me and my activities in my blog marilenapetridou.weebly.com and also in my Facebook profile Marilena Petridou. You also may check Feldenkrais on Tour on Facebook. It is a Feldenkrais retreat I co-organize in the Greek island of Crete.